Hey, Trail Kreitzer over at Go Hunt. Uh, my season is pretty well wrapped for the year. Uh, and as I move past season, I move into application season, kind of that off season time frame from like January to June, July, um, I start thinking about gear care and things that I can do to maintain and take care of my equipment. Um, we're gonna do a series of videos uh, talking about different things that we're gonna do to kind of help take care of our gear and maintain it uh, over the off season. Uh, one of the most important things uh, for me is to maintain and take care of my boots. Uh, so today I wanted to run you through and show you how to properly care and maintain your boots, uh, especially in the off season. It's a great little exercise to do. Make sure that your boots are, are lined out and taken care of. Um, if you do so, you'll get multi seasons of use uh, versus, you know, maybe a one and done. There's some things that you can do to make sure that you take care of those and give you lots of years of use. Uh, before I jump in and kind of show you how to maintain and care for your boots, I wanted to run through a list of the materials uh, that I'm going to be using today. Uh, these are all from a Go Hunt gear shop. Um, we have a bunch of different accessories that you can purchase to help you maintain and care for your boots. So I'm just going to quickly run you through the actual individual pieces that I'll be using today. Um, one of them, this Hanwag waterproofing spray. This is simply a spray that you can spray on your boots. I'll show you how to do that a little later in the video. Uh, second thing, uh, Nick Wax. So Nick Wax makes phenomenal pro products, whether you're looking for like down wash or gear wash or waterproof repair. Uh, this is a little dual packet. It's a footwear cleaning gel and also a fabric and leather proofer. Uh, another product that we carry is from a company called Granger's. Uh, Granger's makes really nice stuff. Uh, this is a leather conditioner. So I'm going to use all three of these products to kind of show you how they work. Uh, another product that you're going to need to help maintain your boots is a brush. It's a, a nice soft brush. Uh, and then a set of good laces. So I'm going to run you through, show you what my laces look like. I already had to replace mine once this season. Uh, but we do carry these Lawson Equipment Technora Tough Laces. And a little bit later, I'm going to talk about the uh, lengths that you might need, depending on the type of boots that you have. And last but not least, uh, a bucket of water. I just got a clear bucket. You just want room temperature, lukewarm water uh, to help you clean your boots up. So the first step to cleaning your boots is to remove the laces. So you're going to get down into the nooks and crannies of uh, the tongue of the boot. Um, you want to make sure that you get all the debris and the gunk out of those. Uh, it makes it a whole lot easier if you actually remove the laces. Uh, I'm also going to replace the laces in these boots, so I might as well pull those out anyway. Um, it helps you uh, over the whole process. Helps you clean them, also helps you get the the conditioner and the waterproofing down in the spots that you, you ultimately need it as well. So the first step is just to pull the laces of your boots. All right, so I pulled the laces out of these boots. Um, a couple tips before you even get started. Uh, you might be tempted to just throw your boots in a washing machine. Never ever throw your boots in a washing machine. You definitely don't want to do that. It's not good for the boot. It's always much better if you just hand clean them uh, the way I'm going to show you here today. The other thing is uh, never use uh, traditional soap. So, you know, no you know, dishwashing liquid or detergents, anything of that matter. Um, if you want to use some soap, you can definitely use uh, this footwell, footwear cleaning gel uh, made by Nick Wax. Nick Wax makes phenomenal products, um, you know, or even just lukewarm water like I'm going to use today. So that's the first step. Pull the laces, never put them in the washing machine. Don't use regular soap or detergent. So the next thing I'm going to do is just simply take my brush, get my brush wet, and I'm just going to kind of start gently scrubbing these boots. And I want to make sure that I get down uh, into the nooks and crannies of this. You can see that I've got a bunch of gunk built up down here in the bottom of this. You can see these little nooks down here in the bottom. They always get full of debris. You've always got a bunch of dirt and pine needles and, and just general get down in there. So I'm just going to simply uh, just softly scrub this, kind of work it through the leather. Uh, I don't want to do the inside of the boot. Uh, I'm really just kind of working on the outside of it, scrubbing all the loose dirt and debris off. Just make sure that I get down into the nooks and crannies and get all the junk off of it. Uh, once I've got that done, I'll probably take this brush and kind of work the bottom of the soles as well, just to make sure I got any rocks or any kind of junk out of the sole. One thing you want to do also is just make sure that you scrub through the eyelets and the hardware on your boot. You know, over time, those can uh, get junk built up in them. Um, they could also rust if you leave them out wet. Um, you just kind of want to clean those up. And then later on, I'm going to put some leather conditioner on. That'll also help the, uh, the hardware of these boots. 
So I just took a few minutes uh, with the brush here. Again, just a nice stiff brush, cleaned off all the debris, all the dirt, uh, all the gunk off of this boot. Did the sole uh, around the rubber rand, just made sure I hit all the leather, hit the nooks and crannies, got all the dirt out. Uh, once again, I didn't do the inside of the boot. I'm gonna touch on it here in a second. Uh, next step for this boot is to simply let it dry. Um, and you need to properly dry your boots. Uh, there is some, some tips and tricks that for drying your boots that you want to adhere to. Uh, one thing is you do not want to leave your boots out in direct sunlight. You want to leave it in kind of a shady spot. Um, if you leave it out in direct sunlight, you get heat on that. It can actually dry your boot out uh, to the point where it starts to cry and drat or dry and crack. If you leave your boot out in direct sunlight, you can actually uh, expose it to heat and it'll actually dry and crack. It'll actually damage the leather. It can also shrink your boots. So you don't want to leave your boot out to dry in direct sunlight. So leave it in a shady spot, just room temperature. You want to open the tongues up uh, and make sure that you've got some airflow to those. Um, you know, you just want to, you know, be smart about it. Just use your common sense. You don't want to leave them in direct sunlight. You don't want your boots to shrink. It may take your boots a while to dry. Uh, they recommend, you know, typically maybe 12, 24 hours. It might take up to even two days to get these to fully dry out which is fine. You don't want to rush the process. You don't want to damage your boots. So just let them air out, let them dry completely before you move on to the steps of applying a uh, waterproofer or conditioner. Okay, so for the left boot here, uh, I'm actually going to use this Nick Wax foot cleaning gel. It comes in a bottle with an applicator tip and a little push tab there. As you push that down, it's actually going to put some of that product out on the boot. Uh, as I said, it comes in a combo. You get the fabric and leather proofer uh, as well as this cleaner. Uh, first step for this left boot, pull the laces. Once you got the laces pulled out, you just want to simply take some water and rinse off any uh, dirt and debris kind of off the outside. After you get that kind of washed off, the next step is to actually start with the applicator and uh, this footwear cleaner gel made by Nick Wax. So I'm going to brush it off a little bit. Get some of the loose dirt off just with the other brush. Kind of get some of the dirt and debris, just loosely kind of brush it off. And you could do that with a paper towel, you could do it with a washcloth, anything that you've got with just some lukewarm water to get kind of the outside of the boot cleaned off a little bit. Next step, you just take the little applicator tip. Uh, as you push this in, it's going to put some of that uh, soap. It's just a real light um, material, but as you use that, you can see how it pushes out. You can just take the brush and really start to scrub and clean and get into all the nooks and crannies of this boot and really clean it up good. Uh, and once again, this is a great product made by Nick Wax. It makes a really simple process where you've already got the brush and the applicator uh, and the, the gel uh, inside this bottle. Um, you know, I'm just giving you an example of a product that we sell in the shop that makes a one-stop shop. You can waterproof it and clean it. Or you can simply use, you know, the brush and, you know, a bucket of water like I did with the right boot. Uh, so once I've used the Nick Wax uh, cleaner to kind of scrub the boot, get all the dirt off, I'm just going to take a uh, washcloth or some paper towels, just kind of wipe, wipe off the excess dirt, get all that off there and just clean it up really good. All right, so the first step is complete. Uh, I've washed both my boots. Like I said, I just use simply uh, water and a brush on the right boot, left boot. I use the uh, Nick Wax cleaner with the applicator tip on the end. So I'm just going to let my boots dry. Um, you know, one tip, it's pretty, you know, common practice. Guys will take uh, paper towels or newspaper, stick it down their boots to dry. Uh, you can use common paper towels. That works just fine. You can stuff those in. It'll help pull the moisture out. Uh, you do not want to use newspaper. Uh, the ink, the newspaper can actually uh, harm the Gore-Tex layer in your boots. You don't want to news, use newspaper if you decide to go that route. Paper towels, anything like that without any ink uh, will work just fine or even like a dishcloth. But for the sake of this video uh, and my own personal process, typically what I'll do is just pull the tongues out. I'll leave them in a cool, dry spot and let those air out and dry for a couple days. So I'm going to do that, let these completely dry out, and then I'll move on to the next steps of uh, applying waterproofing and also conditioner. So I'm back after a couple of days of letting my boots dry out in a cool, dry spot. Uh, they're pretty dry throughout. They look good. They're clean. And I'm moving on to the next step, which is to apply a waterproof or a water-resistant spray or a conditioner. Uh, I've got three different products here that we carry in the Go Hunt gear shop. If you check the link above uh, to my left, you can see individual links to these products that we have in the Go Hunt gear shop to help you treat your boots. 
the first one is a Hanwag waterproof spray. So this is a spray that you apply to the outside of the boot. You can use a small cotton cloth to kind of rub that in. What you're going to get is a water uh, proofing spray. It's going to keep the water out. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the next one, another very similar product made by Nick Wax, which is a fabric and leather proofing spray. You spray that on similar to the Hanwag. And then the last one is a Granger's leather conditioner. Uh, I like a leather conditioner. It keeps the leather supple. Uh, it keeps it from squeaking. So if you've got a buddy that's got a squeaky boot like I do, uh, you can suggest some of this to help quiet his boots down. So I'm gonna apply you know, the leather uh, conditioner to one boot. I'm gonna show you how to apply the Hanwag waterproofing spray to the other boot. You can use these separately. You can use them in conjunction one with another. Uh, this Granger's makes a nice conditioner. Uh, if you've had a situation where you've dried your boots out in the sun, they've got really dry, maybe some cracks, this leather conditioner can definitely help restore uh, those cried, cried? those cracked and, and dried out boots. All right, so the first one I'm gonna show you how to do is the Hanwag waterproofing spray. Um, I should put a disclaimer here on the front. It states that you should do this outside for the sake of this video. We're gonna spray it inside because that's where I'm at. I've got this nice lighting and uh, I'm gonna use this inside. But like I said, disclaimer, if you apply this at home, apply this outside. Uh, so the first step of applying this Hanwag waterproofing is to shake it up, make sure that it's good and shaken up, uh, just like a spray paint can. Once it's good and mixed, you just wanna hold it at the boot. You wanna keep a decent distance, so about a foot and you just simply apply that on, just spray it on. You wanna make sure that you get a full coverage on all the outside surfaces of this boot. Get it down in the nooks and crannies. Just get a nice even coat on the boot. You can see that it gives it a nice rich color. That's one thing, it's a question I've been asked, um, you know, do your boots get darker when you condition them? Yes, they do. Not a big deal. Makes them look better, right? And like I said, you can take a cotton swab and just kind of brush that in, which I typically do, clean off the soles, clean off the rubber rand. And after you have a nice coat applied to your boot, you just want to make sure that you, again, take your boots, set them in a cool, dry spot, not in direct sunlight. Let those dry out. It can take between 12 and 24 hours to let that waterproofing uh, spray completely cure. Okay, so for the left boot, I'm going to apply a leather conditioner, which is this Granger's leather conditioner. Uh, it comes as a, a tube with some paste. Uh, one thing when you apply this, I'll just simply apply it with my finger. You can use a, um, you know, like a cotton old t-shirt. You can do that as well. It works fine if you don't want to get it on your fingers. Personally, I just find it easier to just get your fingers in there and get it uh, nice and cleaned up and conditioned. So I just squeeze a little bit out on my finger. And then as you work this into the leather, you just want to get a nice coating. You don't want to get it super oily. It doesn't need to be caked into every seam, but you're just going to basically work that in with your fingers. And you want to just work it in the entire surface of the boot. So, you know, into any seams. I like to work it into the seams. I like to work it into all the cracks. One portion of the boot that I really like to watch and make sure I take care of is the crease here where your foot flexes. When you dry your boots out, especially if you haven't in position, been in a position where you've dried those out in the sun, they can crack and dry out right there. So I do like to rub quite a bit of that conditioner into that crease. It's a pretty simple process. Basically all you do is just take your fingers and work that across the leather all the way around the boot. Um, one thing, you know, don't be afraid to work that uh, conditioner into the hardware. It's going to help that hardware as well. It's not going to cause you any issues. So just go ahead and work the entire surface of your boot. Just simply rubbing that stuff in, um, complete your whole boot. It's going to condition the leather. It's going to keep it supple, keep it from dry, getting dry and cracked. All right, so I've got my boots cleaned. Uh, I've applied some waterproofing spray. The other boot, I used this uh, leather conditioner, which like I said, I really like leather conditioner. It keeps your boots supple. So the last step is to install your laces. Once again, these are, these are the Lawson Equipment Technora Tough Laces. Uh, I'm just gonna install these. Uh, we have done some articles on different ways to lace your boots. If you're having some foot issues, for example, if you're having uh, heel slippage, there's a way that you can lace your boots to help alleviate blistering and heel slippage in your boots. 
So we'll drop a link to that in this video. Uh, once again, this is a full you know, video on how to clean and maintain and take care of your boots in the off season. Uh, if you take care of your boots, your boots will last you a very long time. Um, I've had a pair of these Alaska GTXs for you know years and years. The soles wear phenomenally well. The uppers, as long as you take care of them, will last you multi-seasons. Um, if you guys have questions about these products or the processes, drop them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Uh, once again, now's the time. Take care of your boots. Get your applications in for next season, and good luck.